Hello, and welcome to 5 Minutes About Pulsar. My name is Larry Hotari. I'm on the streaming team at Datastax and a PMZ member on Apache Pulsar project. Today, I'm going to be showing you getting started reactive applications with Spring Boot and Pulsar. If you want to follow along and you don't already have a deployment of Pulsar, visit astra.datastax.com slash register streaming and get a free Pulsar instance up and running in under a minute. If you have any questions or feedback, you can leave a comment below or email us at pulsarquestions at datastacks.com. That will go to the Pulsar team here at Datastax. We have lots of Pulsar experts that would be happy to help answer any questions you may have or help you with any Pulsar problems you may be experiencing. We hope to hear from you. Follow along and do it yourself. The goal of this guide is get you started with building reactive applications with Spring Boot and Apache Pulsar in five minutes. We won't go into details about the technologies. So to learn more about reactive applications with uh, Spring Boot, there are resources available at this URL and about reactive Pulsar in, at this URL. To follow along with this um, demonstration and, and guide, you could go to this URL and we'll get started. So first we will be creating a Spring Reactive Web application using the start.spring.io and we'll choose the Gradle project and enter a name and choose the Reactive Web dependency and also Lombok library, and then generate the application. And then we'll open it up in a IDE. And the first thing to do is that we'll have to add the dependency to Reactive Pulsar. And that's something that we could copy paste from this uh, guide. I'll add it here and then refresh and we'll go and start building the IoT backend application. Simple way is uh, just to copy this code snippet. And this first one is a value object for tel telemetry events. And we'll choose the target package here and uh, IntelliJ will create this class file automatically. And then we'll add a REST controller for ingesting the telemetry events. And finally, a Spring Boot server sent event controller for streaming the telemetry events. And then we are ready with our application. And now we will uh, demonstrate running this application and streaming 1 million telemetry events through this application. And first, we'll uh, start a local standalone Pulsar broker. And uh, then we'll start the application. And after that, we will start uh, consuming server sent events with curl. And uh, so this will be ready waiting when we start uh, producing events with uh, another curl command. So this will produce 1 million events. And now we could see that it's receiving the telemetry events and we wait just a few more seconds and we should be up to 1 million events then. Now we're at about 400,000 and this uh, shows how powerful Pulsar is. This is a local installation. It's uh, produced about uh, 50 megabytes of uh, data.
And now we have completed it. So thanks again for watching this video and have a great day. Email your questions to pull our questions at datastack.com.